Hello and welcome to your guitar guide where I'm going to show you an easy chord progression on an acoustic guitar and that's coming up. Whether you're a beginner guitarist or you've been playing a while, this is an easy chord progression I'm going to show you on an acoustic guitar, but you could play it on an electric guitar. Either way, it's going to sound great. First, I'm going to show you the three chords that you're going to use in this chord progression, and then stick around because I'm going to spruce things up. It's going to sound great. So stay tuned for that. First, we have three chords. We've got a G. C and D. This is what you call a 1 4 5 in the key of G. The one or root chord is the G. So now, if someone tells you to play a 1 4 5 in the key of G, you know what to do G, C, and D. Okay, what we're going to do is play these chords in the second position. So we're going to play a G, a C, and a D. And we got a G, so you're borrowing at the third fret all the strings your second finger is right here on the G string at the fourth fret, third finger, fifth string, fifth fret, and right below it is your pinky on the D string, fifth fret. That right there is the G major bar chord. Then we've got the C chord the D chord. Same shape. We're starting on the third fret with your first finger on the C note and then hyperextend the third finger right here and play uh, four, three, and two. Move up a whole step to the fifth fret and that's the D. Be sure and check out somewhere here for the actual fingering, the chord charts. And also, stick around because I'm going to show you how to spruce these chords up. But you'll be able to get the tab over on my Patreon page. So check it out. It'll be linked in the description. So we're going to play a G. C. So instead of just playing we want to spruce things up so listen here. Don't worry, it's not as hard as it appears. And I've got the complete tab, tab that for you if you want to get that over on Patreon. So let me show you how it goes here. We've got the G. You're going to pick the E string first, which is the root of the chord, the G. Third fret of the E string is G. Strum it down one time. Then we're going to slide with your third finger from 5 to 7. 5 on the A string. 
seven on the A string. And then on the five of the D string. We're going to do that twice. Then you go to the C. So when we play the C, we're going to pick the C note on the A string. Just pick the A string and then strum the C. So we're going to slide using your third finger on the D string. Slide to the seventh fret. Back to the five on the D string. Seven on the A. And five on the A. Back to what we just did on the G. Then we're going to go to the D, which is right here. Pick the A string. This is the same shape. So we're just playing up. This is C. Here's the D on the fifth fret. So pick the A string. Strum the D. And we're actually playing the same shape as we did here, but we're playing up a whole step. So slide to the ninth fret, back to the seventh fret, nine on the A, seven on the A. Do the same on the C. Five, seven on E. Back to five. Seven on the A. Five on the A string. Then back to G. Hey, if you're getting any value out of this lesson, can you give it a thumbs up? And leave me a comment. I'd love to know what your favorite chord progression is. So back to the G. We're going to play it slowly here. And I'll show you what I've got so far. Do it twice. D and we're gonna finish it with a C sharp seven and a D seven so those two chords Check out the chord diagram for those. If you like this chord progression, you're interested in learning another one, check out this next video.